Last lesson you formed your clay owl. It then dried for a week before being bisque fired in the kiln to cone 04, which is a temperature of 1,945 degrees. Today we will add color with the glaze. Glaze is what gives ceramics color and their shine. The glaze contains small particles of glass that melt to form a shiny surface when fired in the kiln for a second time. Glazes change color when heated to the high temperatures of the kiln. These are the glazes that you will use today next to the fired samples. Glazes work best when applied in two or three light layers. Here you can see how each layer of glaze adds a more even color. The clay shows through somewhat on the lighter colors of the white and yellow. The orange color blends in with the natural color of the clay but adds a glossy finish. The black, dark brown, and light brown show less of the natural color of the red clay. You have two brushes, one larger and one smaller. The larger one is best used on the main areas of your owl and the smaller one on the details like the eyes, individual wing feathers, and the beak. Pick one color and start applying a thin layer of glaze on your owl. On this owl, I started with the white and covered all areas that I wanted white only on the front of the owl. This video has been sped up to make sure that you have enough time to carefully glaze your owls. Make sure to clean the brush well in the water. Do not tap your brush on the edge of the cup as it may spray water on your project. Dry the brush on the sponge by dragging both sides of the brush flat across the sponge before changing to the next color. Here, the light brown for the head. You might need to switch to a small brush in the area around the eyes. Then wash and dry the brush well to make sure extra water is not added to the glaze before glazing the eyes in a different color or the beak. If you have used a light layer in the first area you glazed, it should now be dry and ready for the second layer. Working with one color at a time and letting each layer dry between Apply at least two layers with three being the best. Tiny details like the black center of the eyes should only be applied as the final layer to avoid the black mixing with lighter color glazes. As you finish, make sure no glaze is on the back side of your owl or in the holes as this could make it stick permanently to the kiln, breaking your sculpture. As you look at your owl now, the color looks a bit dull and chalky like these. The owls will now go into the kiln again and fire to cone 06 with a temperature of 1,873 degrees, melting the glaze, creating the glossy finish that you see now.